Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever, whatever time you are, wherever you are. All right, welcome to another tutorial on Dubstack. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, a crash course in JavaScript. All right, so this is a tutorial you can follow on using your mobile, your mobile phone, or you use your, you know, system, your personal computer, your laptop. But I intended to do it on your phone so that you know people with phone will be able to follow up. But you with laptop, you can follow up also because it's everything is just everything is gonna be covering just the same thing. There's no difference in it. All right, to make this work on your phone, you'll be making use of um, this app called A Code or A Code here. All right, so once you're following this on your um, laptop, just make sure you have your sublime text or visual studio code open already. All right, so you can see A Code is a very very good text editor. Uh, it makes a um, stuff easy to you know, to code on your phone so basically this is everything it does i think um it's like some extra features we can check it has the console because basically i think we're gonna be making use of the console so so now let's dive in so the first thing we're gonna be looking at is um how we can write our first hello word using javascript so we're gonna be making use of the console like i said so if you're following this with a laptop just make sure you hit control sheet i not to bring that to a console or just right click and click on uh, inspect elements you should be able to see a console there all right so this is it here. so the first thing you have to do to write our any word in the console you can use something we call console.log then you can put in a low a low word so when i run this now you can see it uh, we've given us um, a result we say a low word so this is how we you know Airport stuff in our console, so you can try this in your console, your laptop, and it will work the same way. All right, the same way I can also, you know, head back to this place and just save us. So I can save this as a, you know, sorry, let me create a new file. So this will be my j my dot js. All right, so I have a j. I can do console dot log hello world right so i can go ahead and save this uh no sorry save this okay let's just save it here all right so if i should run this let's use a nap so basically what is giving us is hello what this eye is resulting the answer let me try and change this and save okay so this is not working because this is a um, console stuff so is not actually this pen this is just a normal javascript stuff so basically we are gonna make use of the console most of the time so let's just focus on this place all right so we've done that so the next thing we're gonna be looking at is just variables in javascript so to create a variable in javascript we use the keyword v out which is also var so you can do var x equals to five you can see then i can do um x you can see i have five so that is telling us that five uh, x is equal to 5 so 5 is the value of the variable x so that's how we create variables and variables can either be um, a string a boolean an object an array so we have different types of data type in javascript so the first one we have there is um an integer we've done that we also have floating numbers so let me use y equals to 3.0 so i should put in y you can see okay it turned this to an integer itself okay the same way we also have a um, bowl is so i'm just gonna do bowl equals to true so i can do ball sorry uh you say okay it's book sorry I made a mistake sorry book and you can see we have true uh, the same way you can also do it for false you know boolean is either true or false so this is just a crash course that you know gets you started into javascript so we're not gonna be diving in depth in everything so like i said we also have an um, array so i can do our uh, array equals to name age so i can go ahead and do um uh, array sorry oh you can see it has to win auto correction let me turn it to r so now you can see you have an array if i click on it you can see you can see so this one very good thing about this app it works basically like the system 
you can see it has everything you need to know about so that is another way and you can see it's the length of two zero one that is also one and two uh, then too you have a dictionary uh, object to me so i can name this obj equals to then the first name equals to precious last name uh, I think I don't need this yes then last name equals to code alright so let's just try this and if I should do obj now you can see we have an object with the first name precious last name code and also it has this and this so now we've gotten this so let's take a look at how i can um okay before we do that let's first look at something called cost cost was introduced recently to javascript i think vs6 ecmax 6 so it is um is a it's a large point variables that cannot be you know, reassigned so for example i have cost um x cost them um, r e equals to five so then I draw out E now. You can see I have five. What if I try to do um do total equals to R E plus five? You can see we have um something we call ten. Uh this is not working yet. Okay. R equals to R E plus five. Now you can see an error was given here because we tried to reassign this assignment to constant variable. So you can be assigned an assignment to a cluster, but you can't make it equals to any value because it has been assigned already. It is a constant variable. Hope we get the logic here. So basically, next what I want us to do is now you know take a look at the subject. How can I result out um, the object? So I think what we want to do is just obj dot first name. This is supposed to give us a first name. You can see we have questions. If I also try to use that last name, you see we have code now. So that is how we can access an index in object. Same way we can access index in array. So we have an array here called, um, was it array called ARA? So I can do ARA index. You know, we come from zero in programming. So index O, you can see his name, uh, ARA index one. Which is it? What if I try our index two? This will give us an error because we don't have an index of two on the find. So good. So basically, this crash course is getting you to know more about how JavaScript is and how easy, easy, easy it is to manipulate. Right, so the next thing we're going to look at is uh, uh, okay. Let's take a look at the conditional statement today. If you have stuff on the way, I'm probably so true because this is just a crash course. If you want to go deep into it, just comment below. I'm gonna do do my best to make the tutorial. It's gonna be on the system on my PC, so I'm just gonna make everything out for you and you're gonna like it. But it's just an introduction because I just got a tutorial request from somebody, so I had to just do it. Alright, so that is this. So we can do x equals to five or seven. So you can do if x is greater than 5, I need it to just console.log, yes. So if I run this now, you can see unex unexpected identifier. Alright, so basically, this won't work in this place. So let's go ahead and just create a new file. This will be index.html. Save this in the same folder overwrite to HTML5. So we're gonna import the script here. Okay, so it's important if you put the script tag and src equals to name of the file, which is my.js. So let's save this. Right, so that has been saved already. So we can go ahead and do uh, a write a script inside. So it's good to load our script in the body tag. So 
so let's close this and do x over x equals to 5 you can do if x if x is less than 7 I want it to alert so the alert keyword just pops off a message so we're gonna put yes all right so this should work you can see we are importing a javascript file but we're not using it so we don't actually need it so you can write your javascript inside but also you can copy this to the my my.js and you can see it will work as well so if i click on the play button and i let's test this out in the browser chrome so i'm gonna be using chrome uh still loading i don't know it's taking forever let's close this let's test this in the app All right you can see we have yes so that is how if there's so now let's check this else statement i can do we can do a lot no all right so if i should put this to four now we should be getting the no instead so let's save this you can see we have the no because it is not correct no i think we can work with the cursor here yeah. I, I think i just saw it now no. Uh, yeah good so we can work with the console here yeah, we don't need to just keep on doing this so now let's take a look at functions just going to comment this uh there's no comments you know just delete this so last thing we're going to do i just remember this so we have to do functions and that will be the last of it so you create a function use your function keywords function then give it a name so you can do say hello so a function is say hello and i can do console.log hello and i can come here and do say hello we have to call the function back so let's save this we have to call it back to be able to run just run this remember i did the console now you can see we have hello here so basically that's how function works so we can also pass parameters here so we can do name so we can do uh, hello plus let's give it space plus name oh, sorry plus let's use precious so if i should save this and i run this now you can see we have hello precious so now that is just how you know you can work with javascript using your phone all right hope you like this story don't forget to hit the like button subscribe share to your friend and comment if you want the javascript crash course tutorial i'm gonna do it all right see you next time peace